So here we are at the end of the first year in a summit, a summit of dream teams, to look at cross-cutting themes that will impact on every one of the groups to be able to advance what we're doing within a group. And I expect there will be several collaborations between dream teams. This summit isn't just a meeting where everyone shares their most recent findings. It's a meeting where people really are looking for ways that they can interact, not only within the Dream Team, but across Dream Teams. Here you're attuned intensely to collaboration. There's been a real synergy. People come together to figure out how they can make each project better. Generally, scientists learn information by reading articles. But typically, from the time you actually made a discovery in your lab until it gets published in an article, could be two, three, sometimes four years. And that's four years that the other people could have been using that knowledge. The whole concept here is to draw collaborations as broadly as they can be effectively used and to accelerate the whole advancement of cancer care and treatment. We thank our collaborators and friends of Stand Up to Cancer for bringing this issue to the public and to uh, raising additional resources. Our own cells do a very simple thing millions of times a day. They divide over and over and over. No matter how you live, who you are, where you are, through no fault of your own, a single mistake in a single cell can spark another that makes battlefields of our own bodies. Some of us are so lucky that in those millions upon millions of moments, everything works perfectly. The great thing about the human species is that we, the lucky ones, can stand up for the not so lucky. I've never seen such a stellar group of qualified people in basic science and clinical, pharmaceutical, people who understand the you know, bench to bedside. The objective is to see some of these things get into the clinic and begin to see the payoff in the clinic. And I think we're already seeing that even after a year. We turn next to news about cancer. It concerns a new blood test for cancer. Imagine a blood test so precise it can spot a single cancer cell among a billion healthy ones. Harvard researchers have developed such a test, and today, Johnson & Johnson is joining them to someday help make it available to patients everywhere. It would be a way of, just with a blood sample, without having to biopsy and re-biopsy a tumor, follow a tumor basically in real time. The charities stand up to cancer, which has aired star-studded telethons, considers this effort one of its main priorities. Stand, stand up, up to, to cancer. cancer. Five sites across the country are beginning to use the new test on patients. The research is supported by a $15 million grant from Stand Up to Cancer. In the past, I didn't think that you could make an impact upon patient care within a three-year period. And yet within the first year, we're starting to use the drugs developed by the pharmaceutical industry to make that impact. I think there, there isn't a cancer researcher now who doesn't have tremendous optimism looking at what's ahead. There are really exciting things happening, and in the not-so-distant future, they will have an impact for everybody.